Hi, I'm April Morris, founder of the Freedom Jumper blog, a speaker, one of a kind expert, as well as a spiritual teacher. So thank you for tuning in. Well, we're on question number three. I asked my blog subscribers, you know, what is it that you want to learn more about? And here's one of the questions that was submitted. So I want to go ahead and answer it. So this question was submitted by Diana. So thank you for submitting it. And she asks, how do you bring products to market? You know, that's a, a great question as well. You know, many of you know that um, I developed a product called Thin Gloss, and I actually appeared on ABC Television's TV show Shark Tank, as well as many other, you know, a lot of other publicity. My product was sold in stores in the U.S., but also in a few other countries. And so I want to show you the blueprint. I'm literally going to just show you the blueprint of exactly how to bring a product to market. There's about seven steps. It's not that hard if you chunk it into small bite-sized pieces. So this is how you do it. All right. First, you get an idea. You got an idea for a product, uh, and then you create it. Your product must solve a problem that a lot of people have, and it must be current and relevant, and it's got to be a problem that people know that they have. The second thing is you take it to step two. You create a prototype. So that's what I did. I started making my lip gloss samples. I got samples first and started testing it to make sure it was the right consistency and the smell and um, all those things that I wanted in my product. So you create the prototype. You get a few of those. I would say get about you know 20 prototypes. Then step three, you're going to test it. You actually give those samples to friends, family, acquaintances, have them try the product, and it's got to work. If your product has got to deliver the results that you claim it does, no matter what the product is, whether it's a book, whether it's a, a lip gloss like I had, or a training program if you're a coach, or a, a speech if you're a speecher, uh, a speaker, you know, whatever your product is. Um, it's got to work. It's got to deliver the results that you claim. So test it. And I test it a lot. All right, number four, funding. Some people need seed capital or funding to get the first batch of inventory. Your first batch of inv inventory could be, if it's a product, it could be as high as a minimum of 10,000 pieces that you have to order at once. Sometimes you can negotiate that down, uh, but if you need the funds for that, there's several different sources that you can find funding. You can put it on a credit card, your own credit card, borrow from friends and family, uh, use your savings. Um, I personally cashed out my 401k. I also made money at my other job, my day job, and I used some of that money to pay for some of my startup costs. So there's a, a whole lot of different ways that you can get seed capital for your product. You can also raise funds on you know, websites that do, you know, launches online where people, uh, crowdfunding is what it's called. And then the next thing you move to is once you've done the funding, you've got your basic inventory, your first batch, then you're going to build your website. Make sure that you have a way to take payments on there because if you can't take payments, you're not going to be able to sell your inventory. And then not only that, it's also important to continue to test it. There's a lot of ways that you can test your product on a bigger scale to make sure that you're getting the sales that you need for it to be profitable. It's important to keep testing it. Um, number six, marketing and sales. This is so important. I mean, you can sit in your office behind your desk all day long, but ultimately you're going to have to pick up the phone and make some phone calls. If you're trying to get into retail stores, you're going to have to call them. And you have to call them a lot, over and over and over again until you get a response finally. Um, if you're, again, if you're selling to, you know, a, a book, if you're an author, you're going to have to find partners, maybe people that can promote you, promote your book, promote your, your training. You know, if you're a coach, you know, people, that's one way that you get your name out there and get your product out there in a bigger way. Online is a great resource. Social media is good for marketing and, and attracting new clients and customers. And then step seven is traffic. The more people that see your offer, what you have for sale, regardless of what the product is, the more higher opportunity you are to get sales. So it's really about continually being in front of your ideal customer, your just right target market. You're going to need to identify who that is so that you can get in front of the right people because when you're in front of the right people that are ready, willing, and able to buy what you have, 
you're going to have a higher probability of a sales conversion and do it in an authentic way instead of feeling spammy or being in front of people that your product's not a fit you know make sure that you identify who's your right market and uh, start approaching them with getting value first that's really a secret to you know building your sphere of influence becoming somewhat famous and and selling your products and services from a place of authenticity that is value driven so that's really basically it that's how you to bring a product to market you start with your idea you create a prototype you test it um, you get your first batch of inventory um, or you just create it if it's an on online downloadable training program or whatever that is you still got to create it and have it there you got a website make sure you got a way to take payments you got to do marketing and selling and then you got to have traffic the traffic is what really gets the sales and gets your name out there in a bigger way so if you want to learn more about that I can certainly help you just go to aprilmorris.com you can connect with me there and I'd love to chat with you about your product or your program if you're an author speaker coach or an entrepreneur so I hope this has served you. Stay tuned. We've got another question coming up. Uh, and if you have your own question, go ahead and type it below. Um, and I just might pick your question, idea, suggestion, you know, for our blog comments um, to share on video next. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.